Petty, how are you today? Very well this morning. How about you? I'm um, good. I can't complain. Good. Uh, Petty, um, uh, almost two weeks ago now I was on your show and Miss Manning was on your show about a public meeting in, in Cornerbrook concerning this 911 uh, uh, system going to be put in place. Um, at the time then she said she would meet so I wrote her and, and explained that I would help arrange the meeting on behalf of the uh, uh, people who showed up at the meeting. 50 people showed up at the meeting to shoot the night prior. Mm -hmm. um, that Monday she was in the media saying that she hadn't heard from anybody, only me complaining. Uh, so there was no meeting arranged. Uh, since then there I know of two for sure, possibly three or four councils who have written Miss Manning and said yes we want that meeting. And I, I know Miss Manning is not used to being elected but that's how MHAs work. That they, they ask for meetings on behalf of their constituents and and uh, if she don't think that's the way it works then the councils went ahead and wrote the minister and said we want a public meeting uh, as of this morning uh, they haven't received any response about this uh, about this public meeting uh, and uh, you mentioned about the city council uh, meeting last night there, there's two questions I can't get answers uh, first of all will the minister come out and have a public meeting as she committed on your show and and uh, publicly and the second what is the cost to the city of Cornerbrook uh, for this 911 dispatch? I just spoke to a councillor. They don't know what their cost is. So, and that would be just cost strictly for the call centre? Uh, calls to the city of Cornerbrook because yeah. the, the city of Cornerbrook said we had to recover our cost. My question and then I have a meeting today at 4.30 with the City Council, and I'm appreciative of that because I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. What is the cost to the City of Cornerbrook? And the reason why I asked that, at the public meeting, it was stated that it was negotiated cost before. I said, well, what was negotiated publicly in front of 50 people? Oh, we don't know. At a Great Homer Joint Council meeting, w w um, again, it was stated uh, that it was going to be 25% reduction in what's going to the City of Cornerbrook. That was denied. That's, I cannot figure out and I can't get an answer because I do have a copy of the budget of the 911 system. In the copy of the budget, there is no cost recovery money being allocated to come back into the 911 system. Yeah, so what kind of cost would we be talking about? I'm not asking for a number. What would be associated with it? So it would be just location and staff? Because no. all, the hard, all the hardware and stuff, that wouldn't be cost it, it, subject uh, to the city, would it be? The, the hardware is paid 100% by yeah. 911. Yeah. Rent is paid 100% by 911. Staff is paid 100% 911. So what cost then? I don't know. Oh, okay. I, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I asked. Uh, I asked these, uh, city officials. I'm hoping to get an answer today. I'm trying to get uh, Miss Miss uh, Miss Manning out to a public meeting because because what what they approved here. And I'll just give you an example. In York Harbor and and Lark Harbor. Um, uh, j just take York Harbor and Lark Harbor. There was 22 calls. Uh, 26 calls out there last year to fire department. Mm -hmm. 22 were medical. Not even fire. They provide medical services where it's about 45 minutes for the ambulance to get out. So now they got to pay up to $2,500 to supply medical services, which which is already being paid for. And Meadows, a prime example, 90% of all calls that are on the North Shore that Meadows Fire Department handles is medical. So once the call comes through now to the fire department, if they want to have dispatch for medical purposes, which is because they're going to be first responders because they're closest and, and, and they're trained, they got to go pay to supply medical services. And, and I, I can't get the answers as to why, as to why that this is an additional cost. And, and, and when the lady was out with the uh, 911, uh, for, uh, for Miss Manning to say that no one else complained and, and have a person out who was the point person for 911, she heard all the concerns. I'm sure she did a report for Miss Manning. She's got to be well aware that the, the fire departments and councils are upset now. And, and I asked the question, tell me what the costs are going to be for City of Corner Brook. And this is not a fight against the city because the government should not, the government should uh, have full dispatch. And, and this is a policy that the government made. And, and I asked, what are the costs? She said, we don't know. We'll evaluate in 2016. So every time you ask somebody uh, who, who's supposed to be in the know from the city or from the 911, you get a different answer. And uh, I cannot get that question answered because if you're going to charge volunteers 
volunteers who are, who are giving up their time to go out when there's an accident and, and saw someone out of a car, you're charging them now $2,500 to, to go and supply that service when it's already paid for? There's something fundamentally wrong with that. Yeah, I, once again, this is the last time we talked about 911, I was pretty confused about some of the hiccups that were involved with time that operators are way down the line and how long you could have your beeper or continue on so the message could be from 15 seconds to two minutes, all those things. I think we can fix them. Same thing with this, like, uh, why are we not able to get an answer to these simple, 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 fundamental questions? And so, I mean, I don't know, Eddie. I'm glad you brought it up, but... I'll, I'll just I'll give an example. By. I'll just give you a prime example. There's going to be two workers at the city in Cornerbrook, okay? Yeah. If the calls come in, if you pay your $2,500, mm -hmm. that plus there's extra if you go over a certain number of calls, you pay your $2,500, they'll have a list. Okay, your car, you paid your $2,500. That caller will stay on the line until you're sure that someone responded to that call. Yep. Okay? If you're a little rabbit and you say, oh, you never paid, oh, oh we're just going to dispatch you, I hope you'll get it. Those same workers will do dispatching. Like, 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 it's just beyond me, and and then like, man, and then here's a, here, here's what I like, and, and then this is this is all just a government policy. Larry Wells, who's the PC candidate um, um, uh, out here, I would like for Larry Wells to come to a public meeting, explain to the communities in his districts that it's affected, Pasadena, Little Rabbit, Steady Brook, and Mashey Drive, explain why they're going to get a downgraded service unless they pay when it's already paid for 100 percent i'll see if i can get some answers too because i mean this is supposed to be service as to fill the gap that was always there without prevent province-wide 911 it cannot be dependent on whether or not you got the bucks to pony up to ensure that someone stays on the line till you get the first responder has been contacted the message relayed nor can it be about how long the beepers last and can take a message nor can it be about a variety of the hiccups and hurdles and it can't get answers on cost recovery or whatever. Eddie, I want to put together an email, see if I can get the answers too. Uh, Petty, wow. just the other thing also. When, and, and very quick because i got to go. Very quick, yeah. But the other other communities who never had 911 are yeah. going to be happy to get, but they don't realize that they're getting dispatch service. They're not getting 911. Uh, they're not getting 911. They're getting a call forward. They, can't e they don't even have the opportunity to pay to, to pay and have the service. They can't. It's only the areas that's affected here. So this is a provincial thing yeah. up in Gooby's West. This is the people who never had it are getting a call for it. They are not getting a dispatch service, which they were led to believe they would be getting. Well, I'm, I'm, once again, I'm going to see if I can figure it out because it all, everything that sounds good on, the, on its face doesn't always necessarily mean it is. Now, I think some of the things that uh, the issues that you brought forth can be solved there are new and there are some answers that we need to get and uh, i'm sure you're at it constantly and i'm going to try and get them too because the people in those communities that you mentioned they've got to be nervous about how this is going to roll out so we'll all together try and get some answers because it's important i appreciate your time the way you got to get to the news and uh, miss manning we're waiting for the public meeting that you committed to very well thank you okay eddie bye bye, -bye.